browsers are always changing. DuckDuckGo, I don't think ever had a star as a favorite browser, mainly because uh, to my knowledge, it just uses like the built-in Android you know, system viewer browser. Yep. Um, so it doesn't really have like the most robust uh, rendering engine for your web browser. And there's just more secure browsers um, that have a lot more privacy features than DuckDuckGo. I would say that Firefox Focus uh, in some ways is a better alternative just because it didn't have the whole Microsoft scandal. Um, which again happened after Go Incognito. So if DuckDuckGo was a suggestion, then um, that was before that happened. And I still don't discourage DuckDuckGo because they fixed it, but I do think that was a big knock to their trust for a lot of people, myself included. Um, so I think generally Brave is like one of my go-to browsers that I recommend on Android. It's just really solid. Um, it's really convenient. It's cross-platform too. So it's a really nice usable browser for people. Um, and you already said Brave when you log into accounts as your true self, and that's probably what I would use Brave for as well. Um, as for your secondary disposable browser, um, I would probably t be taking a look at either Firefox Focus or you can use something like Chromite, but I haven't tested Chromite myself yet. So Chromite's a continuation of Bromite, um, which has more or less discontinued. Uh, I don't know if they formally announced that, but it's wildly out of date. Um, and we still see it mentioned a lot. So if you're somebody listening to this stream and you're using Bromite, just switch to something else because it's very behind on security updates at this point in time. And you can also use the Tor browser as well as your disposable browser. That's always an option. So those are kind of my go-to options on Android at the moment. I'll, before I continue, I'll carry it over to Jonah to see what his browser options are on Android. Yeah, uh, no, I think my advice is pretty similar. I usually uh, go with Brave on Android for the most part. It seems to be uh, the best option out there for like a, a, as far as a balance of privacy privacy and security. I guess I haven't used um, Firefox Focus in a while. I just looked it up because I thought that Firefox Focus used the web view as well, like DuckDuckGo did, but I guess they changed that um, like six years ago. Not so out of date on my knowledge about that, but um, they use Gecko View now, which is separate from like what Firefox uses. I don't think that Gecko View is as well tested as Firefox. And I know that people don't like Gecko on Android in general. so. Make it out what you will. Um, some people will say that it's going to be less secure than like a Chromium-based browser on Android because Gecko on Android is far behind like Gecko on desktop, for example, when we're talking about like rendering engine security. So something to consider when you're using Firefox Focus. I don't think that I haven't heard a single case of anyone being hacked using Firefox or Firefox Focus on Android. So I don't think it's a really realistic threat for most people. So just something to keep in mind. But yeah, I think that everything that you said seems like a pretty solid plan. Yeah, and I would always recommend people check out, and this was not in Go Incognito because this resource came out afterwards, but privacytests.org is a wonderful site um, that also has an Android section that allows you to compare how different Android browsers stack up against each other. So definitely check out privacytests.org and that should give you some other answers as well in terms of what they block and what they don't block. Hey everybody, thanks for watching this TechLore clip. This is actually a highlight from our main channel, TechLore, where we talk about digital rights, privacy, security, and how you can have a better relationship with technology. So if you want the full length experience, definitely check out our main channel, TechLore. We'll leave a link somewhere on the screen, wherever our editor puts it, and you can probably check it down in the description as well.